know how to describe it. It's, uh, it's surreal. Um, it's been a long process. But it's never too late to be honored. It's our first story tonight in the top five. That was the case this afternoon for a member of the U.S. Army Reserve who received one of the military's highest honors. Keith McCord was at a special ceremony today honoring specialist James McCloy. Keith? He received the Purple Heart, the oldest military award given to U.S. soldiers. It's an award that was first established by George Washington in 1782. Army Specialist James McCloy received his for what happened to him in 2011. The next thing I remember, I was waking up hanging from my straps in the back of the truck. We'd been hit by a a bomb that was approximately 150 pounds of homemade explosive. Specialist James McCloy was with the 744th Engineering Company based out of Ogden. He and three others were in an armored vehicle doing IED sweeps on one of the most dangerous roads in the Kunar province of Afghanistan. The blast took the, the front end of the vehicle from the windshield forward and sent it about 90 feet down the road and the rest of the vehicle landed on the back end, pointed up at the sky like a rocket. McCloy told the story of how he and his buddies were hurt at Congressman Chris Stewart's office, joined by dozens of family and friends, along with military veterans, who brought McCloy and his family here in a motorcycle escort. I have said probably 10,000 times that the very best young men and young women that our nation has ever produced can be found in the United States military. Representative Chris Stewart, an Air Force pilot for 14 years himself, conducted the presentation. Now, Julie, I'm going to ask you to pin the Purple Heart on him. For one thing, I think that's an honor that you deserve. McCloy arrived in Afghanistan in December of 2010. The IED explosion occurred four months later. Under heavy enemy fire, McCloy helped the three other injured men in the truck get to safety, even though he was hurt himself. Even, you know, going to Afghanistan, I knew that, of course, there's a possibility to get hurt. Um, <laughs> I've always been that guy that uh, it'll never happen to me. It's been a long road back for him, medically and emotionally, but today meant a lot. All right, I think James deserves a round of applause, so thank you. It's been a very emotional day. I didn't think that it would affect me like this, and uh, there's, there's been a couple tears this morning. McCloy said today's ceremony felt like closure for him. He retired from the military last October and now works for the Utah charity Thank a Hero Foundation. That group helps soldiers and their families bond once they get home after suffering serious injuries. The organization helped him when he needed it, so now he's giving back. Deanie?